teenage girl, 14, killed and several others injured after school bus. A teenage girl has died and several others are injured after a school bus carrying 21 pupils was involved in a major crash in Birmingham. Cops confirmed a 14-year-old girl was pronounced dead at the scene while another teenager was taken to hospital following the smash with a bin lorry on the A38 this morning. The girl sadly died at the scene. A 14-year-old girl died after a school bus collided with a lorry this morning. The school bus was carrying 21 pupils and three teachers when it crashed. The lorry driver was also assessed but not injured. Another pupil was taken to hospital following the crash. A further 19 pupils, three teachers and the school bus driver were also all treated at the crash scene for minor injuries but were later discharged. The lorry driver was assessed by paramedics but did not require any treatment. John Taylor High School in Barton under Needwood, staffs, confirmed a total of 21 year 9 and year 12 pupils were on their way to an art trip, accompanied by three teachers, when the bus crashed. Dramatic pictures from the scene show debris on the road following the serious collision at around 9 a.m. this morning. There are a large number of fire, police and ambulance crews at the scene of the horror and a minibus and bin lorry have been seen inside the cordon, Birmingham Mail reports. Two ambulances. The hazardous area response team and the air ambulance were scrambled and a multiple patients were assessed. Multiple people are feared injured. The school bus crashed on the A38 on its way to an art trip. Emergency crews are on the scene. The crash happened at around 9 a.m. this morning. Superintendent Dean Hatton, head of the Central Motorway Police Group, said, This is a tragic incident which has resulted in the death of a pupil from the John Taylor High School in Barton under Needwood. The family of the teenage girl has been informed and they are being supported by officers from our family liaison unit. We are also in contact with the school and our colleagues at Staffordshire Police, who were understandably devastated as this occurred while their students were on a school trip. He later added an investigation has been launched and whether the pupils were wearing seatbelts or not will form part of the probe. There have been no arrests and both drivers are assisting police with their inquiries. A West Midlands Ambulance Service spokesperson said, there were 25 patients, from the minibus, one of whom, a teenage girl, had suffered serious injuries in the collision and unfortunately it immediately became apparent that nothing could be done to save her and she was confirmed dead at the scene. A second teenage girl received treatment at the scene for minor injuries and was transported to Heartlands Hospital for further assessment. A further 19 children were discharged at the scene together with four adults, which included the minibus driver. The lorry driver, a man, was also assessed and discharged at the scene with having avoided injury. A statement from the school said, Please be aware that a number of our Year 9 and Year 12 students that are on an R trip have been involved in a serious road traffic accident this morning. We are working to support those directly affected. Please support us by not ringing into school as this closes our lines. More information will be provided via the school website. A West Midlands police spokesperson said, Emergency services are at the scene of a serious collision on Kingsbury Road in Castlevale which happened around 9 a.m., 
The road is closed and local diversions are in place. Further information will follow. Pupils from John Taylor High School are involved in the crash. A West Midlands Ambulance Service spokesman said, Crews arrived on scene to discover a collision between a minibus and a lorry. Ambulance staff assessed multiple patients from the minibus at the scene, together with the lorry driver. The A38 Kingsbury Road westbound has been closed between Forge Lane and A452 Chester Road causing delays. Drivers are being told to avoid the area. Witness Alex Jeffers told the Birmingham Mail, I heard a loud bang behind me. I turned around and I saw a lot of dust go up in the air and a lot of glass shattered and metal from the lorry on the roadway by the bus stop. Both the lorry and the minibus came to a stop. I went over to the minibus to see if there was anything I could do. A spokesperson for Bagnall's coaches refused to comment on the incident. <laughs>